everyone, I'm Tessa from Studio Jane, and I'm teaming up with Kid Made Modern to show you how to make an adorable spring craft today. We're going to be constructing these cute planters with removable plants, all using cardboard and some elements from our Kid Made Modern Arts and Crafts Library. To make your spring planter today, we'll be using cardboard and chipboard or paper plates, scissors, hot glue or glue dots, a black marker, paint brushes, and paint colors of your choice. We'll also be using quite a few elements from our Kid Made Modern Arts and Crafts Library, including googly eyes, pom-poms, felt, fuzzy sticks, and wooden craft sticks. In addition, we'll be using our printable templates to trace and cut out plants and flowers for your cardboard planter. You can draw your own shapes as well. To begin making our spring planters, we are going to start with our templates and by cutting out our pot template or by drawing your own. So we're going to go ahead and cut out our pot template and then we'll trace this onto our cardboard or you can draw your own style planter in any kind of way you want and just trace it or draw it directly onto your cardboard and then cut that out. So now that we've cut out the majority of our planter here, we have this little chunk in the middle that we're going to want to remove. So what I'm going to do is take my scissors and you can snip, you fold this down a little bit and then I can snip a section in the middle and then I can put one edge of my scissor in and cut along the line. And this again, if you're going to be using the template, then you're going to want to cut this portion out as well. Otherwise, if you're drawing your own, you can add in a cutout slit anywhere along the top where your plants will be able to slide in and out of. Now we have our planter here all cut out and we're going to go ahead and trace this onto our cardboard. Traced out our planter, we're going to go ahead and take our scissors and cut the planter out. And now that we have finished cutting out our planter, we went ahead and uh, just using our scissors or uh, an X-Acto knife if you're crafting with an adult, then you can go ahead and trim a little slit at the top so that we will be able to use our cardboard flowers and plants we're about to make to slide them in. They'll look like they're then planted and you can play or um, use it over and over again in different ways. If you don't want to add a slit to your planter today, then you can easily just avoid that step. And then you'll be able to just glue your flowers or plants along the back instead uh, and they won't be move movable but they'll still be just as adorable. So our next step is going to be using our templates to cut out all different types of plants whether it be cactuses or flowers um, and then we'll also have some templates to cut out some cute little springtime insects and birds and then we're going to use all sorts of fun decorative elements to decorate them. 
You can also draw all of your own shapes and plants if you don't want to use the templates. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting out our templates, and then we'll trace them on our cardboard. Now that we've cut out all of our different style plants and flowers, as well as a few different little animals that will all be very reminiscent of spring, we are going to go ahead and take our templates and trace them onto our cardboard. So you can either use cardboard, the same thickness that we used for our planter, or you can use a thinner um, cardboard or chipboard, paper plates, or even just construction paper will work for this step as well. So what we're going to do is go ahead and take our chipboard here and then I'm just going to pick any of our little plants that we've started to cut out here and I'm going to go ahead and start tracing them with a pencil onto our chipboard. Now that we've traced it on to our chipboard, we're going to go ahead and cut it out with our scissors. So now we have a little cactus cut out here, and we're gonna do the same thing with as many different styles that you want to use. Uh, since we are going to be using our pot that is adjustable, we can easily slip all different types of fun little plants in here. We're gonna go ahead and make all of these so that we can not only craft with it, but play with it as well. So go ahead and continue to trace all of your different plants or draw your own onto your chipboard or cardboard and then we'll cut them all out. So now that we've cut out all of our different plant shapes, we've got little agave plants and uh, what will look like cactuses once they're all decorated. We've got leaves and butterflies and little birds. So we, these are all from the little templates that we've traced and cut out or you can also uh, draw your own in a variety of different styles. So once we are ready to paint, I just put some extra cardboard down and taking a paintbrush here, I'm just going to use some of our washable paints from Kid Made Modern and with some fun green, I'm going to start painting all of our little plants. So you can paint them all a variety of colors and this is just going to be our first base layer of decoration for all of our little plants here. And I'm just going to do one coat of paint. I like a little bit of the cardboard texture to show through. Uh, so this will give them a fun look. So just going to do a quick layer. And as you can see, our little cactus starting to come to life as we give it some color there. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing. And you can do all different colors. Um, your cactus doesn't have to be green. Maybe you want a pink or a red cactus. We're then going to add all sorts of fun little accents to our flowers and, of course, some little eyes at the end uh, to make all of our little plants look like our favorite friends. So go ahead and just paint all of your um, little template, all of your cutout templates here, and then we'll you'll be able to decorate them further.
once all of your plant and flower cutouts are painted and dry, it is time to decorate them. So we are going to be using all different elements from our arts and crafts library, such as fuzzy sticks and pom-poms, googly eyes and felt. All of this is going to add some three-dimensional aspects to our plants and creatures, as well as just using a black pen to draw in some additional details. So this is really where you can come up with as many ideas as you want um, to make all of these little plants and flowers unique to your planter. So I'm going to just start by taking one of our little cactuses here and then I'm just going to take a hot glue gun. You can also use glue dots and I'm going to just add a couple of pom-poms on here uh, to be a little cactus flowers. adding some cute little details here and then taking a black pin I'm just going to draw some little lines all over to represent cactus spikes Fun little cactus and then we're just going to continue to decorate all of these in different ways so you can easily add googly eyes on some of them and keep them simple just going to put a couple eyes on this little agave plant and he's ready to go and again just taking a pin on some of these additional to add some additional elements. For little birds here, can add googly eyes, just putting one on each. And then I'm going to take our black fuzzy sticks here and cut them down a little bit. And then with my hot glue gun, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back. and press my fuzzy sticks directly into my glue. And then I'm just going to bend them slightly to give them little legs. And then I'm just gonna take my pin to add in some details like a little wing here. Outline the beak. We have a fun little bird ready for spring. And we'll do some of the same details on our second bird here.
then you just continue adding fun details similar to these. So I'll use some more fuzzy sticks to add some antenna to our caterpillar and butterfly and pom-poms in the center. So we'll glue a pom-pom in the middle of this flower. So as you decorate these, you can see that there's no one way to do it. You can add different variations with your paint and all sorts of fun details using the Arts and Crafts Library. I'm going to add some more eyes on this one as well. And then you're just going to continue to decorate all of your different elements until you are finished and you have a whole garden full of cute and three-dimensional friends ready to be planted. Now that we have decorated and painted all of our fun spring friends, we are going to assemble. So we have our planter here that we previously cut out. And what we're going to do is add a simple strip underneath the slit on the back. So I'm just going to cut a strip of cardboard. And taking my hot glue gun, I'm going to just put a little bit on either end of this new strip. And then we're going to place it just below the slit and lay it flat. This is going to give all of our friends a place to slide into to hold them straight. It's gonna take a flower, slide it in through the slit, and on the back side you can tuck it right in so that it stays in place. And then you'll be able to add all different plants in at different times. Little cactus and another flower. And you'll be able to watch them grow and play and you can plant them as many times as you want. And your planter can always look a little bit different. So not only did you make a fun craft, but also now you have a game that you can play with friends and have all your fun spring creatures to come and play too. Thanks for joining me and Kid Made Modern today. I had so much fun crafting with you to make some adorable plant friends and a few flowers. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more fun inspiration and craft kits, check us out at kidmademodern.com. Thanks, and I can't wait to see you all again for the next video.